Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. As my channel name implies, I am a gamer after all. Now, in amongst all the regular video games that I play, I always like to buy stuff from Steam. I spent $3 on a game called Stigmatized Property, a game about creepy Japanese haunted apartments. So sit back, relax, and wonder if I wasted $3. Oh, god dang it! Do I like this environment? So the reason, obviously, that I bought it was because I'm a huge fan of these PS1 VCR games. So I'm a huge fan when it comes to this visual style. He suddenly invited me to his house. I wonder why. Well, I wonder why indeed. But this game looks gorgeous, dude. God, there's just tons of... I hate chromatic aberration, but it just looks like VCR tapes, man. And it's it's smooth. It's real. Ooh, that is a nice looking vent. Dude, this is a very good looking game. All right, goddamn. What is this? Uh, 10 yen indeed. Wait, can I spend it back at the, uh, at, at the apartment building over here? Can I do that? No, I can't, but there's something behind there that I can't get to. God damn! God damn! I can spend some good old 10, 10 yen. I wonder if there's, like, a shop mechanic or some creepy dude selling flashlights in the corner. Is it the right way? Well, I, I would hope so, because it's the only way. Dude, this is kind of like what Shinmu would look like if they actually used up-to-date graphics and stuff. And that would be the apartment complex indeed, but I kind of want to check the other areas around too, shit. No, this is some dude's home. Is that like, I don't know what that is, is that like a dead- Oh, it's a dead cat! Oh, dude, no! I don't like seeing dead pussy, that's- that's fucked up. Let's go down this dark, creepy alleyway. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, I was I was expecting to get a fucking stabbing down here, but uh, I didn't. All right, let's get down to the apartment, dude. Fuck it. Oh, there's more. There's dead fishes. So that's where the smell was coming from. He just tosses out the dead fish like that. That's fucking. That's messed up. Apartment 104. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll go to apartment 104. Don't worry about it. Alright, this place definitely doesn't give off, like, serial killer vibes. Like, it doesn't look like the place you're gonna get your body removed. Dude, this game looks gorgeous! Dude, if the, isn't this his mother's car? Dude, if her mom's car had RTX onto it, I'd be coming in my pants right now. Like, it, for literally three dollars, the developer deserves, like, a good fucking cock rub. I would suck the developer's cock with how good this game's look. I'm not even joking right now. Like, you have a su- you, you got me as a sucker for games with these PS1-style graphics, like, this is- this is what I live and breathe for, dude. This is why I build gaming computers. Not- not for that up-to-date fucking Ray Trace world support, for that PS1 support, dude. Alright, I got 60 yen. Uh, can I buy anything? I see a crumpled piece of paper. It says it costs 100 yen. I need to find some change. Well, god damn! Better st better start- better start, you know, sell- selling my little- <laughs> Sell my little asshole of the Japanese glory holes, right, boys? Dude, they've got everything down, man. It's like the pure Japanese aesthetic. Like, if you've ever been to Japan, this is what these weird places look like at night, dude. Knock door? Not yet. Not yet, indeed. I mean, there's already somebody inside there, which is already dead fucking scary, in my opinion. But, uh, can I go to anywhere else? Nope. Not anywhere else. Sorry if I, like, take a little too long. I do like exploring these worlds as much as I can. Yeah, I'm not entering from there, dude. Let's knock the door. Hello? There's no one. I just can't wait outside. I need to get in. Alright, shit, let's get in through the- through here. Didn't he say he has a spare key somewhere? A spare key? Probably under the fucking plants! Maybe un maybe under the- maybe under the plants? I don't know. I mean, that would be a really obvious place to put a sp oh, I remember now. It should be under a lemon tree pot. Don't fucking do this. I literally clicked there! I hate that about these games, dude! It's like, make sure you play it exactly the way we want. All right, here, I got a key. All right, let's stick the key in. My, my, that's a fucking pure nice looking apartment. I mean, she, god damn, this is gorgeous, dude. Well, close the door indeed. Um, yeah, no, this is a really nice apartment. So apparently a description for the game said these are like cheap apartments. I mean, this is a cheap apartment, dude, this is pretty. I mean, the, the game character agrees, that was fucking, it's gorgeous, dude. I mean, the reflections are definitely DLC, but fuck. <laughs> it's a gorgeous looking apartment, dude. We got some motherfucking donuts there? God damn, little anal cushions? I like that. Alright, what's this, a peak hole? Well, well, we'll look at that in time. They got a little thermostat, 40C. That's abnormally fucking warm, by the way. Like, you, I mean, when you want to sweat like a motherfucking pig, you can. 
I'm trying to look for placeholder text, but you know, this game is really well made. Like I, I can't I can't deny it, dude. It's a very, very well crafted well crafted experience so far. I mean for three dollars, I can't really fucking complain, dude. I've had worse experience for three dollars. <laughs> Let me tell you. Alright, let's go look through the peak hole. Fuck. What's in this? I think I see something stuck in the hole. Oh no, this is how every fucking X videos thing starts. What 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 I don't know how to remove shit from the hole. God damn. The last seven pages are torn. Do I have to like unco- un un what? Oh, here I got the cane. Man, you really gotta play this game in a very fucking specific manner, and I don't- I'm not- I'm not really liking that. I'd rather have some fucking slight freedom in here. Yeah, use the hook, I guess. Oh, we're gonna look into the hole? Nope. We got a crumpled piece of paper. Okay, so I guess we put the piece of paper in here. Dude! I'm a genius. April 4th. Moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone, and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I always dreamed of it. I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Yeah, I remember college. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm gonna miss those faces. They told me that they're gonna be here for only a couple days. They keep telling me how they're worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> all right. All right, brother. Take care. Let's keep... Uh, can we keep reading it? No. Well, I guess that's it. You know, I need to I need to scrounge up like 40 more yen to get the crumpled piece of paper downstairs. Let me tell you. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's so weird, dude. Can we open it? Yeah, hello, sir? Are you okay? I mean, dude, if some dude stares at a corner like that, we're, we're not, we're not, I'm not fucking around with him, dude. He's, um, that seems like a danger. No, dude, fuck that. <laughs> no, dude, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. That's not how Mafia works, bro. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to contact, I tried to call a contractor today to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes ill. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Ugh. Talismans are useless. I brought a box of talismans and stuck them on the wall. They were all burned the next day. Whenever I put the talisman on the wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. Wow, that seems like a fucking... Seems like amazing design, actually. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from the world, and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares, and a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone please help me. Bro, he's asking for a fucking lot. Sure. What is this? A crumpled piece of paper. Sure, why not? So I'm already I'm already kind of fucking piss scared that something's gonna just assault me at this point, but I mean shit, I'm already balls deep into the scenario. Might as well figure out the story, right? Okay, back into my house indeed. Let's close the fucking door. Alright, let's let's read this page. Oh, no, I'm not, not finished reading. April 5th. Today I took the whole day just setting everything up in my room. What used to be a room with small luggage and a simple bed now became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whopping queen-sized bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed to like this house so badly. He said he'd like to stay a little longer... But as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live I'd like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face, told me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room. But how he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go. That was way too weird. Anyways, new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Yeah, bro. Gotta get ready for the possession. I expect some some shit to show up behind me though. That that's how these games usually operate, right? Oh, dude, I do have a whole bathroom. Oh, dude, but the bathroom is fucking nice, dude. Let me tell you, for a haunted bathroom, this this kind of this kind of steps up. It's already furnished and everything. Oh, 
There's something in the bathtub. What the hell is that? The paper's wet, so you gotta dry it? Just stick it in the motherfucking dryer, dude. Use the hair dryer. Okay, let's, let's read this. No, don't skip it. April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They want to come to my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not fuck anything up. Mashima Sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher he is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked bad about this apartment. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Mm -mm, mm. Let me tell you, when you got some middle-aged when you got some middle-aged women talking about ghosts in an apartment, that means they know there's a motherfucking ghost in the apartment. I take that shit, you know, to heart. Oh, what? There's a raven with a piece of paper? How do I get it from the raven, though? Give me, give me the fucking piece. Of, just grab it from the raven's mouth. Oh, dude, if it's gonna make me do an, <laughs> it's probably one of those things. I have to like fucking swap. Can you drop it? Oh, dude, it's not gonna do it, is it? It's gonna fuck with me. It is gonna fuck. Jesus Christ. What am I missing, game? What am I missing? Tell me. I'm gonna fucking get the goddamn rifle, dude. I'm gonna put it in this raven's fucking mouth. Pick up the fish. God. I'm gonna have to feed this to the crow, aren't I? Goddamn. What the fuck? Aw, oh, dude, no. It's a. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> there was some screaming. <laughs> I got 10 yen though. At least that's something, right? At least it was worth the fucking mental scarring. <laughs> God damn, dude. Whew. All right, I am a, I'm a little fucking uneasy after that shit, let me tell you. Pray in front of the shine. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's pray, let's pray to the Japanese blood gods to help me out here. Fuck. Hmm. I wonder what that actually did. Like, did that bring me, did that... Look, I guess it kind of brightened up the world a little bit. I guess praying helps, you know? It keeps away those fucking evil-ass spirits, dude. Get away from me, man. I'm not getting possessed, dude. I got the power of Japanese Jesus on my side. Fuck out of here. Alright, so I guess I gotta give the... Oh. What the fu- What the fuck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, man. Alright, man. That's a little... <laughs> oh, no. Dude had, like, his window out. Like, he had, like, full meth energy. Like... <laughs> No, not indeed, brother. Not today. All right, maybe I give this to you. Oh, he did take the fish. What a fucking ass! And I got a steam achievement too. That's pretty cute. Uh, I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. That's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right, mom? But you know what, mom? I don't think that works here because I just got the cold shoulder from them. Cause you're, cause you're a fucking sacrifice, dude. They don't want to get attached. They don't want to get attached to the sacrifice. When I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes and without a word from his mouth, and he shut the door on me. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Ha, ah, I shouldn't be too rude. I probably give it another go sometime. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked just like the girl in Shikabara 89 in my class. Um, Shibaki Bara 89. That's a... F is that is that, one, is that a hentai or something? Her name's Mira, and I'd like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single, ready to mingle. Oh man, you know when you're writing that in the fucking diary, this dude's, this dude's a virgin forever. Mm. Oh, okay, so we get the stool, and maybe with this we can climb into that little uh, window that we had up there. Okay, fair enough, let's go do that. Uh, sorry if, like, the, some of the frame rate stuff was weird earlier. I actually had to, like, fix that up, uh, in the- later on. I noticed that as I was working through, so I'm using, like, three different capture solutions. Hopefully it works. Sometimes these older games cause some headaches. Alright, we are in the bathroom, and we got- Dude, this dude's house is fucking ballin', bro. Like, he's got a nice apartment right now. He's got, like, a little washing, drying, like, shower room. Then he's got, like, a little shit- He's got, like, two fucking- He's got, like, a split bathroom setup going on, dude. This is kind of fucking epic. Alright, so I'm inside my house. Uh, I'm probably gonna close the door. I don't trust it, dude. There's crack- there's- there, Dude, this place has some serious crackhead energy going around. No, don't finish. 
Mom came over to my room again. Ugh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with Dad again. Her passive aggressiveness attitude got to me, so I asked her how Dad is doing. She refused to talk about it and instead just sat there quietly. I never seen her like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that, but it just wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I can invite my old-time friend Sayaka. She had asked the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mirachan in my mind right now, though. Oh, man, he's... He ain't, he ain't gonna get with Mirachan, let me tell you. Mir, Mir, Mirachan is uh, nothing but a dream at this point, brother. Alright, I've got 80 yen. I gotta do something, man. I've got literally fucked. There's still that dude living inside here. It's kind of... Ooh, 10 yen. Did he toss out money for me? Bro, he thought I was homeless as hell. He gave me literally, like... He gave me like 10 cents. Oh, what a... Man, I hate when you get those fucking sneezes and you can't sneeze. What is this? A key? Ah! A key? Alright, this is probably for the car, I assume. Alright, doesn't look like a car key at all, but shit, let's do it. Let's open up the entire door here. And uh, there's a piece of paper. Alright, let's, let's get the story beat from this one, right? All right, so that was uh, that was interesting. The guy literally opened his door to toss out like ten yen at me. Like, bro, first off, I don't even think a vending machine is gonna just take ten motherfucking yen. All right, what am I gonna goddamn get? Like fake banana juice? Get out of here! Oh, that wasn't there before. Uh, okay, okay, buddy. Uh, I was able to talk to Mira Chan today. What a great what a great day! Except for one thing, mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here, and it's... Oh, that was a mom there. Shit. And it's odd for her to leave without notice. I hope dad picked her up or something, because the car is still here. I invited Sayaka today and said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. Hmm. I'll be real with you, dog. I think I think mom is dead. I think, uh, I think mom has fucking passed... Whoa... I, th I thought that was like a doggy door and you could see somebody. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> nah, dude. Fuck it. Bring it on, bitch. Okay. Whatever, dude. All right. Lights went on and off. Cool. I got 100 yen. That's all what it is, dude. Fuck that. I, um... Dude, everyone's just giving me 10 yen. I feel like everyone just thinks I'm like a homeless fucking vagrant. So they just chuck fucking dimes at me, <laughs> Alright, let's go get my uh, 10 fucking yen, right? right? Let's go get that money. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's a crumpled up piece of paper. I wish I got a fucking, you know, real banana juice with that, though. That's the one thing I miss from Japan. If you ever go there, the vending machines have, like, fucking banana flavored, like, milkshakes. Dude. And the vending machines, dude, I swear, man. The homeless population of fucking Japan is, like, blessed sometimes, let me tell you. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. I'll call him later. I need to get home. Yeah, I need to get home too, bro. I need to fucking book it. What? Look through. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fuck that, dude! <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, fuck! I knew it was gonna happen! Well, I think I... I th the end. Result possessed. Fuck it, dude. I actually thought I did a pretty goddamn good job. What do you mean I have to, like... I thought I did- I prayed to the shrine and everything! Fuck, man. That actually kind of tilts me a little bit. I think I got, like... I think that's the one end, though. I, but I did read it had, like, multiple fucking endings. See, there's the one dude back there in the hall that I didn't experience, but there's the crack dealer that gave me 10 yen, and there's the fucking crazy chick! Alright, dude, that's it. I'm possessed. I'm gonna- I'm gonna back out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a game about a creepy apartment Japanese- A creepy Japanese apartment, and before my allergies take me in and completely drive me away, I'm gonna end this video off. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Thank God Civic Guy didn't show up revving his car at fucking four in the morning. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out. Oh God, oh God.